Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa Belinda and on this channel I help conscious glow getters navigate the beauty and wellness jungle. In today's video we are reviewing the Westman Atelier Contour Blush and Highlighter Sticks. In last week's video I reviewed the Vital Skin Foundation Stick. I was not impressed by that one. If you haven't seen the video you should go ahead and watch that one as well. But you shouldn't judge a whole brand just on one product. So I wanted to do a thorough review also on the contour blush and highlight. This is not going to be a first impression. I have been using these for about two, three weeks now. So I've really been able to try them out with different products underneath and really form like a solid opinion. So I'm going to apply them to my face today. I look very flat. <laughs> I only have foundation and concealer. So my face looks very flat. We need to create some dimension. So we're going to apply these to my face and I'm going to share with you just some tips and tricks that I've learned from using them on how to apply them in the best way, what to think about, how to make them work for you. And of course, what I think about them and if they actually are worth it. So if you are curious to hear my opinion on these, then keep on watching. So before we get started, there are a few things different compared to my other videos. I am not sitting in my office slash studio. I'm sitting in my bedroom just because we have a really big window here. So I needed all the daylight I can get. January in Denmark is no bueno. It is so dark and gray all the time. Even when it's supposed to be daylight, there's a gray cloud hovering over everything. So it's really hard to get good lighting. <laughs> so that's different. Also, I don't know if you can see, but I colored my hair. Yesterday I went to the hairdresser and just got like a fresh haircut and I did some balayage. So my hair is a bit lighter. It was quite dark brown before and I just felt like it completely washed me out. I looked so pale. So I needed some life to my hair. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments if you like my hair. But let's stop blabbing about all of that because you came to see the review. I actually got this kit. It's called the Clean Glow Trio and in this kit you get all the three products, both the contour blush and highlight in a mini size. And there are two different versions of this kit, number one and number two. <laughs> I got the number two, which is a bit of a darker shade range. There's also number one, which is some lighter shades. And of course, you can also buy each of the products individually. If you buy them individually, they each cost $48 and they have six grams of products. And in this kit, you get the mini size. So they each have only three grams of product and the whole kit retails for $78. So I thought we'll just go through them one by one and apply them to my face. Let's start with the contour. So it's called the Face Trace Contour Stick. That's the proper name. <laughs> In this kit, the number two kit that I got, you get the shade Truffle. And Truffle is the medium shade. So the full size face trace contour stick comes in three different shades. There's uh, Biscuit, which is the lightest shade, then Truffle, which is this middle shade, and then Ganache, which is the darkest shade. So this middle shade, it's quite dark and pigmented. I probably should have gone with the lightest shade, but to be honest, it works for me as well. So this is what it looks like. So just like the foundation, it has this heavy, luxurious packaging and this cap doesn't have that magnet thing that like snaps the cap into place. I think that the full size does. I'm not sure because I don't have the full size, <laughs> but these ones do not have that magnet. And then there's like just a simple twist up, very simplistic, very luxurious. I feel like I should zoom you in a little bit so we can apply this. Okay, we are zoomed in. So my first thought about these products is that the formula is so different from the foundation. I was worried because I didn't like the formula of the foundation. I was worried that these were gonna be like the same, but they're not, they're very, very different. So I just go straight in. I like to apply, of course, under the cheekbones and then I also do a bit in my forehead and then I like to do the jawline here and then also on my nose I just kind of go in straight with the stick if you're not as lazy as me you probably could just take a brush <laughs> and do this more precisely 
like that. <laughs> I look crazy. We are gonna blend it, I promise, guys. <laughs> so as you can see, it looks quite dark and it looks like I chose a shade that is way too dark for me, but it blends so well. So I just go in with this weird angled brush from Juice Beauty. This is amazing at blending contour. And then I just blend it in upwards motion. And this one is much more buttery than the foundation. I mean, I sh of course I shouldn't compare this product to the foundation, it's two completely different products. But I just really wanna point that out, that this is like, it's buttery, it's soft, it's super blendable. It doesn't have that like satiny kind of a dryness that the foundation had. So I just blend that upwards. And then I like to also go in with a clean brush and just kind of clean it up a little bit. And you really wanna make sure you blend it upwards so you don't pull your cheeks down. <laughs> And the color looks way more intense in the camera. Like when I look just in the mirror, I feel like I'm done blending. But if you look in the camera, it looks almost like, whoa. And even though it is definitely pigmented and the shade is probably too dark for me, it works. It just blends in so nicely on the skin. This is actually the best cream contour that I have tried so far. I actually like the Kosas Cream Duo. I forgot what it's called, but that one I really like as well. But this is like, this is like another level, like the blendability on this contour. <clears throat> the blendability on this contour is really next level. And then we'll do here. And also don't forget your ears. And another thing that I also love about it is the shade. Of course, I haven't seen the other two shades in real life, so I don't know how the tone is exactly in those, but at least for the truffle shade, it's perfect for contouring because it's not too warm. And at the same time, it's also not gray. You know, there's like this very, very fine line. There's like this sweet spot where you want the shade to be because a lot of contour products have a very grayish tone to them because they are supposed to create shade but that's just not very flattering on any skin and then some products which i guess are intended more for bronzing have more of an orangey kind of a shade so i just find it very hard to find that perfect in between shade that is just like neutral so it kind of works to both bronze and contour the face all right for the nose i'm gonna go in with a smaller brush and honestly i'm not that thorough <laughs> when i contour my nose it is quite slippery so because of that i find it a little bit hard to contour like detailed areas like the nose you saw i was have just swiped this all over my nose i didn't really have to do this contour because it's getting everywhere anyway that's one thing it's very very slippery for the nose and these like detailed areas i would probably use like a powder or just a more dry product instead i'm just gonna add a little bit of concealer because i got contour all over and i also discovered another hack with this one and that is to use it as an eyeshadow or as your like contour shade so then I would just dip my finger in there and then just dab it on like the outer part of my eye and then I go in with a blending brush and I just blend that out in the crease and it's just Ugh, it blends so well and it also doesn't crease even though it's a cream I really feel like it stays in place and it's just so easy it's so easy to blend there we go and then you have like the perfect contour shade for your eyes I love that it's so versatile because when you pay quite a lot of money for a product, you wanna be able to use it for as many things as possible. And this is definitely, it just looks very natural, even though the shade was quite intense, it looks very, very natural, and it just blended in like butter. Formula is 10 out of 10, fantastic. So my negative marks about this one, of course what I mentioned that it is so slippery that it can be hard to contour details like the nose for example, but also you have to be quite careful with the products you use underneath. So for example, if you use a very oily and slippery foundation, then this is just going to kind of slip around. It's not gonna stay very long on the skin, at least not if you touch your skin. I noticed yesterday I was wearing it and I was wearing the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint underneath 
underneath which is my favorite but that one is very very oily and dewy and I was wearing a mask when I took off my mask I just had like a line here and the product was completely gone where the mask had been so you want to use it with a foundation that's just a bit more dry or without any foundation I guess it would work well together with the Westman Atelier foundation because that one is more dry but I didn't like that one for other reasons of course when a brand formulates a product they kind of try to match it with their own products so it does make sense also I don't powder on top of this if you want it to be really long lasting maybe you would go over with just a contouring powder to kind of set it I don't do that because I also just I mean I'm lazy <laughs> if I buy a contour I just want a contour I don't want to get another contour to set the contour you know what I mean so that is a bit of a minus honestly I do feel like it stays in place when I don't rub on it if I don't like touch my skin a lot or if I'm not wearing a mask then I do feel like it stays in place all day it's just that you have to be careful <laughs> so let's move on to the baby cheeks blush stick this one comes in the same packaging except it's uh, gray and the shade that I got in the kit is called duo duo it looks like this it's like a slight mauve shade and normally this is not a shade that I would reach for to be honest like if I were to buy this individually I would probably not have chose this shade but since it was in the kit it's what I got but I'm actually so happy that I discovered it because it is such a flattering shade let's zoom in again and start applying so with this one I also just go straight in I like to do like just a little it's just like the contour stick it's pigmented you don't need a lot I tend to overdo it sometimes with the blush try to control myself and then I just take a little bit on my fingertip and I like to just dab it on my nose and then you can of course blend it out with your fingers I actually prefer using a blush brush I just feel like it's faster it's easier to blend it out and the consistency is super similar to the contour stick very very buttery very blendable it's like so blendable that you have to be careful where you place it I mean you saw I placed it kind of like just up here and as I'm starting to blend it's just kind of melts out it really is super buttery which is a good thing because it makes it very blendable and it looks natural and, and beautiful on the skin but it's also it can be a little bit scary to work with I like to go in with a clean brush and just kind of go over the edges so that I don't drag around product where it shouldn't be and one thing that I like about it is that it's not too dewy the finish is very neutral because I feel like many cream blushes are quite dewy and that can be nice but I also kind of like when it's just neutral when I feel my skin it doesn't feel like tacky so it just feels like skin because then of course you apply your highlight and that's where you get more of like a dewiness you don't necessarily want that all over your cheeks now this looks very intense in the camera it doesn't look this intense in real life and then I just swoop over my nose all right that's applied you just see it has like a luminosity Definitely, it does give you like healthy looking skin, but it's not dewy and tacky at all, which I love. Let's zoom back out a little bit. All right, now you can actually see it better. Sometimes with makeup, it's kind of like art. You know, like these artists, was it Matisse that painted like in tiny little dots kind of, or like little plops of paint. And when you are really up close, it looks very messy. And then when you step back, you can see the whole picture. Makeup is kind of like that. Sometimes you need to just step back from your little mirror to see how it really looks that was very poetic i know okay so that's applied as you can see it's definitely pigmented maybe you think this is way too much of course you could apply less but you saw you really only need a small amount of product i also think it's beautiful to use on the lips then i would just usually take it like on my finger and dab it on my lips i actually have some tinted lip balm already but just for funsies and that's a stunning shade on the lips and I've said this a million gazillion times but I'm gonna keep saying it forever it is so flattering when you have the same shade on your lips as you have on your cheeks it just creates this balance to your face it's so gorgeous so I love when cream blushes have the right consistency to also be used on the lips stunning 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 so like I mentioned it's very similar in consistency it's very similar to the contour I feel like the formula feels the same and blends the same when I look on the website I can see that the formulation is actually different they don't have like the same ingredients but they perform and feel very similar on the skin and I I'm impressed this is such a 
stunning blush and now you can almost see like it looked very intense when we were up close and as we were blending but I also have very reactive skin like when I touch my skin it gets very red instantly so sometimes I have to kind of stop blending let my skin calm down to see what's actually caused by me touching my skin and what's actually the product so now you can see it's just much more faded but it still shows up like you can see it maybe I went in a little hard <laughs> on the nose it's stunning it's so stunning so I'm definitely very very impressed with this blush and I want to discover more shades the full-size version is available in six different shades so there's a lot to choose from I want to try them all because this one is stunning and I also feel like this really encouraged me to try more different blush shades not just what I naturally gravitate towards which is usually like peachy neutral shades I love it I'm impressed let's finish up with the last product which is the lit up highlight stick and in the kit that I got I got the shade nectar <laughs> that makes me giggle so much because nectar just makes me think of that scene in new girl when Schmidt is like check out my thumb ring so nectar <laughs> is hilarious I mean if you're a new girl fan you know what I'm talking about or maybe you're not such a nerd as me it's just hilarious so I just think of that it's such a goofy word nectar I just want to start calling things nectar I'm gonna steal Schmidt's stupid expression and start saying that things are nectar so let me show you this shade the packaging is exactly the same as the other ones this has kind of like a rosy kind of a shade, like a rose gold. However, it's not very pigmented, so you're actually not really gonna see the shade. Let's zoom in and apply, and you'll you'll see what I mean. So this one, I just swoop it on my skin like I did with the other ones. And as you can see, it's like the shade doesn't show up. I'm gonna show you on my hand here why I don't have product. You see that? I mean, it adds a sheen but there's no pigment. Which at first, when I tried it, I was like a bit underwhelmed because I was like, hmm, I was expecting something. Like, why make it look like this when it doesn't look like that? So at first I was a little underwhelmed and like a bit disappointed. But the first time I was wearing this, I was just out and about running errands. I was in the car and I looked at my face in the car mirror, AKA the mirror of truth. And I was just like blown away by the glow. I was staring at my skin and I was like, what the hell? I have glass skin. That gorgeous glass looking complexion that many of us are striving for, which I never ever felt like I've accomplished. That's what I had. I mean, you can see it now as well. This, the skin looks like glass. It's so stunning. As soon as I stopped at a red light, I kept like glancing at my face in the rear view mirror because I was just like, my skin, that looks amazing. So that experience just really made me fall in love with this product. Yes, it's subtle, but it's perfect. Like it's really, really perfect. And to be honest, I don't really like when highlighters have a lot of pigment because the purpose of a highlighter is just to highlight, to brighten up and to catch the light where light naturally false. So you don't really want a lot of pigmentation there because then you could just basically put eyeshadow instead. Why would you do that? So I do get it. But then I'm also like, do they need to have a variety of different shades? Probably not. One would be enough because no matter what skin tone you have, no matter how dark your skin is, you're basically just putting like dew on your skin. You're just making it look a bit glossy. So it doesn't really matter. So they don't actually need to make different shades in this because the color doesn't actually appear. It's just glossiness. Let's zoom back out. Okay, now you can see it also from a bit of a distance. I mean, it just, it's angelic. It's, it's stunning. Now this one, I will say it feels tacky on the skin. Like when I feel my skin, it, it feels tacky, but I don't really mind. It's definitely more oily than the other products, but I guess that's what gives it this gorgeous, stunning glow. And although when I look closely at the product, it does have some shimmer in there, like some mica, but that doesn't show at all on the skin. Like it doesn't look glittery, sparkly, shimmery at all. It's definitely just like, just like a dew, more like a wet dew. Very similar to the Kosas highlight, like the one in the, in the duo, the cream blush highlight duo. Similar to that one. It's also like very like wet, 
looking but i like this one better because this one is like thinner if that makes sense it's more it's just so easy to just swipe on wherever you need to and if you're a fan of that dewy look even if you're not someone who even likes to wear makeup or if you just don't like wearing makeup on some days but you still want that extra dewiness then just applying this one on your cheekbones on like on the high points of your face wow stunning like i mentioned it comes in three different shades so nectar is the middle shade then there's also a lighter shade called lit and a darker shade called Poulet. And I don't know if perhaps the darker shade has more pigment in it. I'm really curious to see if they're all the same or if there actually is some kind of difference because like you saw also on my hand, like there's no pigment in here. This is just gloss. So I'm really curious to try. I almost want to get the other shades. Uh, I'm guessing the lightest shade is not going to have any pigmentation because that one is like completely white looking. But the dark one, I'm curious if that one has more... Hang on. Sorry about that. I'm home alone with uh, Luna, our cat today, and she is a little bit needy sometimes. So I she wanted to have water from the shower. She loves drinking water from the shower <laughs> for some reason. You wanna say hi? She's a bit camera shy. I think I was saying that I'm curious to get more shades of the highlight stick to find out if any of them have any pigmentation or if they're all just glossy or if they're different in any way if you've tried any of the other shades please let me know in the comments i'm super super curious otherwise i will have to buy them and that's gonna cost me <laughs> i'm just gonna finish up the rest of my makeup because i feel weird not having any mascara and like i haven't finished up my eye makeup yet i'm just gonna do that and then we will regroup for my final thoughts Luna, what are you doing? Out of all the toys, I buy her the coolest stuff ever. Moving fishes and like Bluetooth mouse that you can like steer with your phone. She does not give a sh- But this, this freaking stick that I have taped together four million times, this she loves. She cannot go a day without this. Thing. All right, I have finished up my makeup and I'm just, I'm loving it. I am, I'm completely sold on all these products. And if you watched my previous video where I reviewed the Westman Atelier foundation, you know that I do give you my honest opinion. If I don't like something, I... My neighbors, their walls must look like a Swiss cheese by now because they drill every day. What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. So if you watch my previous video where I review the Westman Atelier foundation, you know that if I don't like something, I will let you know. Mm, it's not looking great. No, it's so textured. I'm very disappointed. So you will always hear my honest opinion on everything. So that's why I can also say with confidence that these, all of them, the contour, the blush, the highlight are amazing. They are definitely worth the money, even though they're pricey. Just like all the Westman Atelier products, they are pricey. But in this case, I feel like you get what you pay for. The formula is just, it's luxurious. It's high quality. And of course, I did have some notes to say about them but the good things just completely outweighs the negative because the quality of these products is like a level of its own and i also really like that you can get them in a kit of course not all shades are available in a kit there's just two different versions but i like it because uh, these mini sizes yeah you don't get a lot of product they probably won't last very long but they're so convenient it's perfect to have with you in your purse so that's all i'm gonna say about these products worth the price worth the high Yes. I almost want to say, unfortunately, yes. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm going to tell you to go spend $48 for one stick. <laughs> of course, you didn't have to get all three. But I am super, super impressed. And I just want to try more shades. I want to get all the shades. So that was my honest review and opinion about the Westman Atelier Contour Blush and Highlight Sticks. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful, that it helped you decide whether you want to spend your money on these products or not. Luxury and a high price tag does definitely not always equal high quality. I mean, we saw that with the foundation. I'm gonna stop talking about how much I dislike the foundation, but I really dislike the foundation. And even if you hate a product from one brand, that does not mean that that entire brand is trash and vice versa. We all have different skin, we all have different preferences. One brand 
brand can be super inconsistent. Some things are amazing, some things are not as amazing. It can be really hard to know what's gonna be worth your money and what's not going to be. And that's why I love doing these type of reviews so that I can help you guys navigate the beauty jungle. And I will gladly go out and waste all my money on all the products so that you can spend your money only on what's worth your money. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you can stay notified when I upload a new video. I post one video every Monday and also please let me know in the comments what you would like to see more of on my channel. I've been doing a lot of reviews lately. Do you enjoy that? Do you want to see more reviews? Do you prefer makeup tutorials or just get ready with me? Chit chat? Do you want more skincare? Let me know. I want to hear everything because I'm doing these videos for you to help you guys out so of course I really want to know what you want to see. I'm going to try to stop blabbing and just finish this video. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, I will see you in my next video and until then as always stay glowing!